And we're back. Hey, guys. Professionalism. Yes. Professionalism, Rosie. Rosie. Professionalism. You should have known bringing me on this would be the opposite of professionalism. You know what's going to happen now? We're going to play FNAF like two hours after this now. <gasps> you guys are. No, you're saying we're locking the door. No, I'm, I, I, yeah, I can fully find out watching you guys are. <laughs> oh, no, no. We're giving the control to you. <laughs> no. Good luck with that. Now, let's keep going. It's not so as wait, bad. No, okay. Let us be prepared. I want to get us mentally prepared for this. We're about to end on jail. Right through that door is the end of the game. Are you ready for this, Sam? Oh. Go in when you're ready. <laughs> it was actually really cool when I first saw it. Oh, yeah. This, this is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by any chance, have you any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue or, or go, go back. back. I see. This is it, then. Ready? By the way, Sam, I refuse to take the control from you for this point on. No! Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with... Determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Your line, Sam. I'm a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Will you stop it! I'm just <laughs> doing my fingers like this. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burn you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You have to defeat Asgore. However, I realize I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Dramir. Your pathetic whelp. Those are this. The name is pronounced Dreamer. Oh no, it's fine. Because the thing is that you don't ever have it said to you, but it's pronounced Dreamer because they do it that way for the kind of the wordplay. Right. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly, meekly hoping another human never comes. Glory, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. <laughs> yeah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gotta make friends, or else I'll, I'll, I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello! Uh, hi? There's two of them? Hey! Nobody fight anymore! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask on nine for help! Hello! Oh, hello! Your Majesty! Psst! Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello, I think 
think we may know each other. Oh, yay. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait. Then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greeting, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus? What does the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne is totally right about the fish thing. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to, um, stop going at the furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know really cute fish. It's a metaphor. <laughs> well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Ah! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alfie's? Uh, Alfie's? No, he's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. <laughs> Rosie! <-y. laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human! That's you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away. <laughs> <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at the great friends you have, I think... I think you will be happy here. Wait for a moment. Hey. So how do you feel about this, Sam? It feels so nice. I know. Isn't it great to have this happy ending after everything you've worked for? I know, right? Yeah. Right. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna not be so well, happy? Well, Alfie's. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, I got here before you. How'd you get here No one to call everyone. Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. Yes, a tiny flower helped him. A tiny... Wait, don't click it yet. Flower? Who told you to go ahead and make friends with everyone? Who told you not to kill anyone? Flowee? Go ahead and press it. Oh, while you guys are having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friend souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, Without that, they would have never come here. And now, with their souls and the human souls together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. How will victory value you just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what.
even if it means killing you one million times. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on! This weirdo's got nothing on you! Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it! Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined! We're with you too! Come on, you got this! You've got to win! You can do it! Ribbit. Uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid! All your souls are mine! Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. What? <gasps> Howdy! Kara, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. It's the end. It's the end, Sam. What will you do? You can either hope, or you can dream. The song playing right now is... is hopes, hopes and, and dreams. dreams. <laughs> what will you do? You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. In my opinion, the strongest contender for the most badass track of the entire podcast. I love this song most out of anything, I think. Yes. <laughs> Asriel Charger Shockbreaker. Asriel Dreamer. What the? Nope. By the way, go ahead and check your items. Go ahead, go to that second page. You've got some last dreams. What do those do? You want to try? Through your determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. What? You know, no, I, don't I don't care, care about much about destroying this, this world anymore. I will say this, when I have those lines. I'm sure, I'm not gonna like, do like the whole like... <laughs> Maybe. Ah! I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Do I keep doing the last dream? Sure. You can do other things too if you want. I would just recommend trying to avoid it. After, After I, I defeat you, gain you control, control gun <laughs> Okay, you can do the slides. <laughs> I just want to reset everything. Watch out here. What? This one always got you, so don't feel bad about it. Look at where his head is tilting, and then go the other way. <laughs> you held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Wait. But it, it refused. refused. What? It's still the end. Wait, go ahead and check. Okay. Yeah, I'll check. Yeah, now. you head on to your hopes. 
Okay, you're doing really good at those. Exactly. Infinite attack. Absolute, Infinite defense. Absolute god of hyper death. <laughs> ah. Go to the opposite side, he's on. <laughs> so you're going to make you go to the map in circumstance. <laughs> If you think about why you're here now, you can feel the empty, empty space in your inventory, inventory getting, getting smaller, smaller and smaller. Like I said, I refuse to take these controls from you because I know you can do it. Oh, at least someone believes in me. <laughs> While Azriel's calling on his uh, chaos saber, you held on to your hopes. You want to do the other line? Okay, I guess not, Rosie. Oh, what? <laughs> Joking with you. I was in his role in the battle right now. Oh, yeah. That's what charges Shark Breaker. The dream came true. Your HP was maxed out. I'm really good at those ones. As we're oh, ready, Star, Star Blazing. Blazing. Star Blazing? What does that mean? Well, it's Star Blazing. No, I can't Marcy him yet. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Oh, you can always use it if you want. Yeah, that's true. Then we can do everything all over again. Oh, not this again. The stars are... Oh, my God! There's so, so many messing with my eyesight. There's so many! Uh, I might recommend that last dream, you know? <laughs> the dream came true! And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Chaos Saber. And then you'll lose to me again. I recommend dreaming. <laughs> Just as a recommendation, you know? Yeah. And again. See those lines? Those are where the shots are gonna go. It is the end. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Think about why you're here now. You feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Like I said, those lines are where the shots go. You did really good. See, you can't help but do that too, could you? <laughs> well, you started it, so I was like, yeah, I want to go with it too. <laughs> like, no, I'm like, I know, I know it's like, you can't help but do that, really. <laughs> you held on to your hopes. You reduce the how much damage you take this turn. Yeah, he is going for it. <laughs> you made it! Ha! <laughs> Dream, 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 dream on. Probably only heal 17. And again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Different, different, different. Yeah, he doesn't stay the same. Because you want a happy ending. I just want, I just want everyone to be happy. That's a wrong... I like how you stop when you die. <laughs> Dang! Oh. 
Man, he's going all out on you. It, nah. you know, the, the shows were getting closer to the end, though, right? Uh huh. <laughs> oh god. I guess the other thing is I did take over for a lot of the bullet hell fights that you had to deal with. Woo! That was awesome. You're doing great. Here we go. That dream came true. You know, you know, the dream about being a mannequin in like the clothing store? That was a great dream. That was such a great dream. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, that is being bleeped out! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I probably will keep it in just as a freaking homage. <laughs> oh wait, no, I can't keep it in. You swore. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Darn it, Rosie! Because you because love, you your, love your friends. You do, and I. Baba cut off two bits. What a yummy dream! I'm so glad I became a pastry chef. Because you never give up. By the way, I want to say something that you may not have noticed. When he first, when he first died, it said. But it refused. Yeah, you told me this. I told you this. It blew my freaking mind. <laughs> so, it refused. What does that mean? It refused to die? There's that. What's the other thing? Can I tell you? It was it, two pieces, and then it got back together. It's a pun. It refused. It refused. <laughs> that was my same reaction! <laughs> Same exact reaction. Oh my like, god, you guys! That this play on words. I love puns. I hate puns. <laughs> I, I don't. I feel impartial about this pun, really. <laughs> Extremely impartial. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what to feel at that moment. <laughs> the dream came true. You became a haberdasher. You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage, so take this turn. Yes! Yeah! Oh! Oh! oh yeah! yeah! Oh my god! Isn't that delicious? Your iteration power, the power that let you got this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Yep. <laughs> TP determined say Oh. oh. <laughs> I messed up. I misclicked. I misclicked. <laughs> Mother of Lord. Okay, wait. Check and see if the, the item. No, no, no. Go to your items because you need to make sure you have the right thing equipped. Get the dagger back on. There you go. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, you're not probably gonna use it, but hey, I want you to have the right stuff on. Because, here's a fun thing about this. What are you wearing? I don't know. You're wearing a locket that says Best Friends Forever and a worn dagger. Remember how I said each set of armor belonged to a child? What? Who did that eighth and final set of armor belong to? The first who was know. Asriel's best friend? Oh! You're wearing their clothes. You're wearing the things that his best friend wore. Ah! Ah! Did you? Did you? No! No! You know he wasn't the nicest of friends if he kept killing someone That's wearing his good. best friend's stuff. I know, right? <laughs> It is so fun just to give you these little tidbits and revelations. No, it's not! It is, actually. I wanna murder each and every one of you. But not the fans, you love them, right? Of course not the fans. Of course not. Just imagine, you're a level one character going against the final boss. You wanna be murdered? Yeah, you're level one. No, I'm just saying. 
Because think about it, you couldn't get to this boss unless you were this level. He would never have shown up. Okay, no misclicking! Like I said, you gotta be slow about it. I know you're used to Pokemon, <sighs> but this isn't Pokemon. God, no, it's not Pokemon. <laughs> You might want to be careful about that one because you kind of run into Hyper that. Hyper Donner! One. I recommend dreaming instead. I mean, like the. Oh. Mm. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Here oh, we well, go. You're, fine. you're good here. Because you're moving on to the next phase of the battle. What the? What the? Yeah, he's eating everything. All the souls of the underground. No! Wait for it. Even after that attack, you are still standing in my way. You have one HP now. Well, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see how good your determination is against this. Azrael blocks the way. Okay. Uh, what? I can't do anything! You can act. You can struggle. You can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that... There was something else I can I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> Still, come on. Show me what good your determination is now. The whole world is ending. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. The song now is Save, save the World. world. <laughs> Do I have to choose? I don't want to say anything. Me either. A lot of people go through this, and they have the exact same question you do. Who are you going to save? For once, should we? Should we just tell her? Yeah. You, you can, can save, save everyone. How? <laughs> you will do it eventually. You just have to pick who you want to save first and keep going. Okay. You picked Torio? Yep. You reached out to Asriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't, aren't they? they? Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls have appeared. No, 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 no! Mm. Say these lines. Forgive me for this. This is for your own good. Okay, go over that. So, wait, go back. X. The top one is for Torio. The bottom one is for Asgore. Okay. Check what it says. Do not double click. Okay. So, Just one click. Talk, mercy. So, those are the four things you can do for Toria. Press. Press X now. 
these are the four things you can do with that as well. stare. Okay. Mercy, hug. They both have mercy and hug, but they have one thing different. Yeah, they all have their own things. So do I do that one thing? It's up to you. I will say you can pick this anything. This part is up to you. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. This no is my duty. No one will leave again. I was gonna say best video game parents. Stand there. Oh yeah, I think they're great parents in the game. You stare but deep you... into the eyes of the lost soul. He remembers the gaze of humans past. I'll wait till she's finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oops. Oops. Stand there. I love the way you react, like oops, oops. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. No, this is my again. duty. By the way, did you notice how much damage they do? They do very they little. little. They do one. What? Remember what happens with damage in this? No, 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 no. You don't need a spam. <gasps> the the intent yeah. to hurt somebody is how much damage, damage. you do, and they don't want to hurt me. So they do the, the bare minimum. minimum. Tell the lost soul you won't hurt him, no matter what. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your fate Your is up to you now. You are our future. You feel something faintly resonating within Asriel. <laughs> you are so into Pokemon! <laughs> uh, 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 you pay attention to where that heart is. Oh okay. god, I can just feel my lungs just rising through my chest. <laughs> Oh my god, stop it, Sam! <laughs> Wait, who did you say? Oh. I mean, every time okay. it passes through. Woo! Woo! So, top one is Papyrus. Hey, I'm blue now. Sans. Yes, yep. that is a good point. You're blue. I'm blue. What does that mean then? Don't move! No. Oh. Oh, blue, I... blue attacks mean you don't move, but the thing is, I, I you're jump. going to be recreating all their boss battles. I'm going to be jumping! Yes. I'm going to be jumping! Okay, uh, recipe. This is, this is, uh, Papyrus. Papyrus, yep. You tell me that. You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. I must capture a human! Just give up. I did. I want to say something else about Sans here. His text isn't actually Comic Sans right now. Oh. Serious Sans. <laughs> you see judgment? You told the lost soul you think about what you've done. It seems like it's trying to remember. Then everyone will. Why even try? <clears throat> you asked the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. You'll never see him again. You got item? No. Alright. Lost soul of No, but check. Yeah. You told the lost soul a bad plan about skeletons. Suddenly, the memories are flooding. Oh, back. that's why you told me not to. No, wait, you're my friend! You have more. Oh, I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. <laughs> you feel something okay. bait resonating within as Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. No, no, no! Yeah. Oh, God. You go over there! <laughs> <laughs> My lungs can't take this! <laughs> you asked the lost soul to teach you to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. All humans will die. Hey! The lost soul stands there. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar. You're our real enemy. Ah, I got panicky there! You 
gave the lost soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. You feel something strongly resonating within Asriel. Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. <laughs> the lost soul appeared. You ask the lost soul about what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? What? what? You gotta shoot those. I don't Remember, know how to shoot! Oh, it's shoot. gonna be seen. I'm sorry, you never actually did use No, this. I didn't! The lost soul stands there. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar. I've got to keep lying. You gotta shoot the bombs and then go, go over. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you, too. Feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save is still there. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within you. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Ooh, I love this part. This is my favorite theme here. It's called His Theme. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! For this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. Stop it. So sorry. I 
always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Kara? I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk? That's... a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Pyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you. It feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. You're... you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk... Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? This would be your line, Sam, but I know if you need a moment. Here, I'll take this away, so. Yeah, it's one of those moments. That was really good. Well, thank you. No way. Would you like some more time? No, I'm okay. All right. I will say this. This line is yours. Okay. Frisk? This is 
all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We, we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made the pirates cry like a baby. <laughs> Fitting I'm hit. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! No, no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I am not certain, Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. I will take this for you. Oh, you're going to do for her? Yes. Okay. Because I'm going to show you some things. Many things! In the meantime, though, let's talk to all of our friends. Who would you like to talk to first? Uh, let's just start going left to right. So start with Toriel and go to Asgore? Yeah. Alright. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans checks out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. At least she says something else. Yeah. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? And to make up for all the times you weren't able to call her. <laughs> Wait, so. <clears throat> Noticed you received a text from Torio. Dear Frisk. Sons and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toria. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room, you'll receive another. So, I wanted to point this out to you. This kid's name is Fritz. Yeah. The kid that we named at the very beginning was the first human. We named the first child to fall into the underground. And here's the other thing. When did the narrator in this game become silent? Whenever we fought Toriel, Asgore, or Asriel, yeah. they kept their mouths shut. Whenever we saw the mirror, it was you. But in a genocide run, you will say it's me, and then the name you chose. The character that you name is the narrator. Oh my god. The entire time, as we were wandering through here, the first human had been on our side, guiding us through. Frisk, how about we, you go look around before we all go? 
Seeing how many good friends you've made here, I am almost certain you must have made some more. Here we go. Brisk, Tori was telling me how she made bee scotch pie for you. Oh, I should make it for everyone sometime. Uh, that sounds really good. Cooking! Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll order some pizza. Sorry. I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. <laughs> but you aren't working! I know. And it's taking all my concentration. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all the way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> it seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. I kinda wanna make sure. Was that the last thing? Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Friss. I'm supposed to be working. Okay, so yeah, that was the last for him. I wanna make sure, was that the last for Tori? Yep. Yes, it was. I'm just doing this off of memory. I wanna make sure these are the last. Friss, why don't you take a walk around? Friss! Why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Chris. Why don't you fly? Hmm. Flying sounds a little dangerous. Rosie. But, but they can't fly. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <sighs> oh, did you guys call her mom in the beginning of the game? Oh, mom. No, we didn't. Oh, it sucks. Because we never called her. Oh, it sucks. Not in this iteration, remember? Right. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um... No, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser! <laughs> That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Heh, <laughs> Pyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh, let me get you started. <laughs> oh... My... God! <laughs> Frisk? Please... Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. It's I like her freaking face, like, uh-huh. <laughs> it's the best thing in the whole universe. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords or with guns? I prefer the one with swords. Okay. So, it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Molly, that sounds neat of Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on. Uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here! Look at this! <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, um. That's the. That's the wrong. Uh. Alfies! Ollie. Were those two robots? Yeah, I figured. Kiss Kissing? Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. Hey, Alfies! Alfies! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses! Or fighting princesses! I'll see if I can manage to find any, any like that undying. Yay! Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Nastabook? Oh, tell them I said hi too.
Oh, you need to go somewhere, Sam? No, I didn't. Oh, okay, then. Oh, my legs. Back to this. Psst. Risk. Um, you gotta tell me. Do, do you think Asko and Toriel are... Uh, they were gonna get back together? say that they would get back together, or do you think they won't? I think they will. You think they will? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's why I hope, too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming our number one ship of all time. Ship, ship, ship. Tori and Glory. Ship, 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 ship. My old boss and his ex-wife. <laughs> oh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Ship, 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 ship. No ships. On second thought, you know I won't write a fanfic of real people. Oh, come on! No, that is a bad idea. Never write fanfic of real people. Yes, I've seen... I mean, it isn't real life already. The greatest fanfiction of all. Not really. <laughs> uh, don't tell me when I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. <laughs> I'm excited to finally use the human internet. Uh, no, Alfie. Oh, that's gonna change Alfie. so much. That's gonna change. Just don't type your name in Google. <laughs> I bet they have all sorts of things Undyne and I can watch. Oh, I'm sure there is. Oh man, we're gonna be able to watch anime on. Too <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Undyne. What do you think? We've been fighting for all along. That's right! <laughs> yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx. I knew you were going to make that joke. <laughs> Wait, Alfie, I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, I... Doesn't Does... everybody? Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Toriel! <laughs> I think it's like the sitcom Toriel. Toriel. <laughs> you know what reference they were gonna make, right? What? You know what reference they were gonna make, right? Girl, my guy. Who the hell do you think we? Oh. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Hey, Frisk. Why don't you go look for Minotaur? He was here a while too. He said he goes had to go somewhere. All right. And. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. Eh, yeah, cool. <laughs> I feel very bad about it. I know you didn't, you know. I hope we can to. still be pals. Ah, uh, of course. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. That, I, except I, for I, Sans. Sans hasn't tried to. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I will say this. This might be a spoiler for other people, but for you, since you're not gonna ever do a genocide run, yeah. Guess who's the final boss there? Sans. Yep. And he's gonna. Freaking yep, but kill. but I mean, in any playthrough I will, Sans will never fight me. Because you aren't a horrible, monstrous being in his yes. eyes, so. And kind of good. He can tell you to go to hell if you kill his brother, no matter what. Yeah. In that case. I'm not sorry, Frisk. It's cool. Asgore! That's not what I meant. Frisk, I just realized. Uh-huh. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Yeah? Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> yes. Oh! Well... Actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. I like my tea cold. But I'm so happy you said yes. Aww. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Yay! And then we can sit by the campfire and tell stories and be like a real family without your old children. Never your old children. <laughs> Where's that from? It's not from anywhere. I just made it up. I feel like that was from somewhere still. Give me my water. Okay, here you go. Oh. 
Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy. On nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. Well, I think we've talked to everyone in here. In the meantime, though... Tori, I'll send you a message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for some quite, quite some time now, don't we have it? I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. Yes, do not get into trouble. I'm so gonna get into trouble with all these golden flowers. Are you a flowey? Are you a flowey? Uh, don't You are a flowey. <laughs> uh, I believe the flower that's dead center is where Avery is. This one? A little bit lower. This one? The biggest one in the middle. This one? Yes. No. Let's just keep going. This one has four leaves. Keep going. It's lucky. That's clover, <laughs> Alan. Silly, Alan. Tricks are, uh, I won't make that joke. Nope. Oh, wait. I need to Oh, yeah! Do, 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 do. All the caskets. I like this part, really. before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. But yeah, the other ones were freed and this one was always empty. The souls, the six trapped human souls, they were let go. They're gonna be free. That's nice. There's nobody in the coffin. Nope. And especially in Carl's coffin. Well, there's a reason for that. And like I said, it's a genocide playthrough thing that they say. So we'll just tell it. Yeah, since you're never gonna play the genocide. You wanna know where Kara's body really is? Where? It's where the where the story started, really. Where you fell in is where she's really buried. Oh my because God. that's the same place where they fell in. Did I use a she? Because Kara is supposed to be gender neutral. It's supposed to be Yeah, you said she. It's supposed to be uh, the gender of basically however you, you interpreted the name you put in. The reason why I use she is because I actually used the names of female characters when I first started. This Same game. here. I the first ki first found child I named was Rose. Uh, mine was Kath, like short for Catherine. Right. I got some attached to the name too. The he, I, I get get what he meant when he, when he said name it something you care about really. Oh yeah. And it was really something that does hit you, you know. Right. You're supposed to pick a name you really felt was important. Yeah, because I felt like at the end, like, we didn't really realize Carver's story, really. Or, like, in my perspective, perspective, Rose. <laughs> yeah, for you, it was a rose, so. Uh, I think this is the right way. Yes. I don't remember. Do I need to check out things, really? And for the people watching, I swear to God, it's not an egotistical thing. I just think the name Rose is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I, I did not realize until you just pointed that out that that is basically an a abbreviation of your name. Yes. Because you're always rosy oh, to me yeah. instead. I like the people pointing out that it's not egotistical at all. I just happened to coincidentally find the name Rose very beautiful. <laughs> I will say this. Did you know what your name means? Uh, I didn't see him there. Why do I look like a black sausage and not a knight or a wizard? Well, everyone has an angle they look best from. <laughs> um, uh, rose fields? Yeah. Yeah. It's fields of roses. Yeah. That's what your name means. Yeah. Mine means listener of God. Mine just means handsome. Alan does? Yeah. It also means little rock, fox, deer, and everything like that, because no one can find out what the hell it really meant. It comes from a lot of, has a lot of origins, right? It's also the name of a Turkish tribe. Alan. Yeah, there is Alans. There is the tribe of Alans. <laughs> tribe of Alans. <laughs> it's it's just spelled all... the same way I spell my name, too. Uh, I would t I would tell my dad to join, but his name is spelled differently. Oh, your dad's named Alan? Mm-hmm, but spelled differently. Like A-L-L-A-N? Yep. Or okay, so he has the double L. Oh, he has the E? Yeah. Okay. Haven't I ever made that joke at you? About what? Alan! Oh, I hate that joke. <laughs> it's taking a nap. I feel like I have, so it's I'm mostly, not gonna make it. The reason why I don't like that joke is it sounds like someone's trying to yell my name, and so like, when I actually turn my head, 
They are just replicating that stupid raptor. <laughs> we were hired by Metaton to destroy you. But since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. Yeah. Is there anyone over here? I would assume. Yeah. As a youth, I would sneak out to play by this creepy flaming pit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game of trying to find it. Now it's my special place. It's nice for cleaning s'mores and things like that. Get cut on the wall. Yep. Oh, I keep forgetting. Dory! Excuse me. I didn't mean to write sincerely. Sincerely? <laughs> she had a typo. I meant to say a sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. <laughs> Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. We are fat finger. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. I'm kind of stupid. Huh? I'll send you a message. Sans will be typing from now on. <laughs> Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. We're finally free! Blub blub! How can we live life without reservations? Oh, now we can live life <laughs> without reservations. <laughs> read, Alan, read. Uh, it's still hard to read in the small box. You want to do this one? So, if we're leaving, well, my job? Ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core. <laughs> the surface world? Really? Maybe I'll be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a hard time for him. Yeah. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop looking at Spikus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. Whatever makes you happy. That reminds me of something, Alan. Yeah? Can you really thought about the level of fun? About, wait, what? The level of fun. Are you asking if I can change it? Yeah. No, I can't. If you want to. I don't know how to hack this game like that, and I don't oh, plan okay. on it. Okay. Because all of us, if you could show Sam like some real messed up crap. I really don't want <laughs> to. Let's not show me some real messed up crap. Here you crap. go, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. <gasps> Caddy and Brady. Yep, we're gonna talk. <laughs> um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again! But now it's been so busy, we still haven't got a chance to ride it. <gasps> Burger Guy! As a slime, I'm overjoyed! Burger Pants! What can I do for you, little buddy? So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. They told me, don't think that means you're getting cut out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much! <laughs> so we're free now. Does that mean my double date is cancelled? I know. It wasn't really a, a date. Here's a trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time. It makes you feel better. Already am. <laughs> Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working at this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. <laughs> he kind of did. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my mm, qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up! Literally in this case! I'll miss you, Burger Pants. Anytime, little buddy. Free now. I'm trying to finish up work. Oh. No response. 
room service never came. <sighs> it's locked from the inside. You called for room service, but nobody came. <laughs> <laughs> for the room service? Well then. <laughs> Is there actually anything in this alley? No, it's oh, dead. dead end. Which Sans walked through at one point? Yep. Oh well. Sans is just a mystery. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. It's like, what's up? So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like, pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops. Really? Ah, uh, well, uh, when we said, um... We're hyped for the destruction of humanity. We were just like joking, you know? Mm hmm. Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no. We like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Now that we're going to be free... OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy! You need to use the restroom? Yeah. Then we will come back to this when you come back. <laughs> Right now. Let's, let's finish what we were doing. Let's finish. Do you like cats? Me? Me? Yeah, I, I love cats. cats. They're, They're like so, so cute. Tasty. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, uh, when was the last time you ever saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. That is kind of true. I guess. <laughs> if you want to it like that. Goodbye, Like Daddy. later and stuff. Goodbye, Braddy. Goodbye. Glass is half filled, I guess. <laughs> well, no, like, really, my dog acts like a cat, in my opinion, even though I've never had a cat. It's just, she constantly, like, rubs up on you, and she's, like, constantly hanging on you and stuff. Anyway. Right. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be really popular. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, wait, isn't he the, the, the surfer card? Really? Oh, wait, I do both. You right? had the bunny. I had the other one. Uh, Undyne told us that the Goyal Guard is being disbanded? Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. <laughs> he seems happy. <laughs> From a dark soulsy perspective. <laughs> hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Did you? Remember I said you need to remember it. Uh, it's fire something. No. Flames balls. You had the first part right? No, it's not flames balls though. It's flames. No. It's like Johnson kind of. Fl Flameson? No. What are you doing? I'm just cheating. <laughs> uh, I know the name actually. I don't well, know. Yes. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Flames Heatsman. Yes, that's right. What? what? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Oh my god. It was a troll. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you want a rematch? Oh my god, he's stuck like that. <laughs> oh, is this gonna take a while? Oh wait, uh... I'm going to probably take the elevator down. I could go through everything again, but I'm gonna just be nice to myself about this. 
we're gonna go to L1. I'm just gonna skip over all the uh, hot land area. All right. There are people here, but I kind of want to get to a certain place. We want to shoot a certain place. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you might really like I it. I want to go this way, though. What the? Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice little drink on the surface. Look at this. Look at this. What the? Remember how I spilled all the water? Uh-huh. It made a tree! Uh -huh. A small tree is growing in the puddle. Yeah. Life does continue in you the begins. underground. Still has snow on the roof. Wait, no, I can't go this way. I have to take the river woman. Yeah. Perfume river woman. Or, river or man. man. Yeah. Or river fluid. Oh my god, I just realized that's a beautiful pun. Why didn't he use it? <laughs> the river fluid. <laughs> Thank you for the dog boat, we're going to Waterfall. Would you just click Snowden? No, I no, click waterfall. waterfall. I put the heart over Waterfall. Okay. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking yeah. about, Rosie. Beware the man who came from the other world. Yeah. Beware. Oh, I really wanted to show you that, man. Well, if we could. If, no. I don't know. We will, I will, we will Come again that. sometime, tra -la, la I will see you soon. Mwah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do it! <laughs> Fluffy buds, why? <laughs> Fluffy buds, why? Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. <gasps> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing that what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned toward the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, <laughs> and the rest is history. Aww, that's kind of nice. I know. Is that a score a goat? Eh, uh, goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moomoo. Folks kept saying nice Moomoo to her, and she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When, we ha when they have offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child. He's been stuck at the same age, and probably will forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Ha! That wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, of course! Toyo was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Ever si since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Those nuzzles, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undyne. She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Garrison, the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. They'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Ha ha ha! I knew you could do it. See you, Gerson. Be careful out there, kid. Oh. 
that's the thing I loved about like the first time I saw the Undertale thing. When the monster says, aren't you happy, aren't you excited, you're going to be free? They thought you were one of them. They didn't. They never wanted to hurt you. Right. They all thought you were going to be with them as they were going to be free. Right. They saw you as one of their own, right? There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's has completed my wonderful new body. David Bowie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier is open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I have forgotten how much fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my, un uh, my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Napstablook, here, will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together... It'll re it feels really overdue, doesn't it? You remember? Blucky. Yes. Remember how he was about to talk about Blucky on the TV? Yep. You were right. They are the cousins. You can even see how they match up the color schemes of their homes. Anyway, Blucky, what you gotta say? What? Undyne says hi? Then tell her I say... Wait. Something oh. cool. Human. I'll never forget you cheered when you cheered me on, when I was pretending to sleep. No one ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock on the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. Huh. You don't have hands. You know what? I'm just gonna let that go. <laughs> just let that go into the ether. No, he needs the kiss. Cause Plucky is amazing. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? E. Away to adventure! Oh, it doesn't play the theme? No, oh, it doesn't. I guess it's just playing the ending theme now. Oh, right. We're gonna keep this until the end, it looks like. Oh, wow. Is peaceful though. The track was called The Bird Carries Your Wood Disproportionate Amount of Distance. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think my favorite one though is like the unnecessary tension. Yes. We can go and see the real stars now? But I still don't know what those are. Oh, yeah! Mouse has finally freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Aww. We missed the one in Hotland. It's there. He broke into the safe there. That's nice. Knowing the mouse. Oh, well, yeah, he did it already. <laughs> Catch up for us. Squeak. Yeah, I'll talk with you. Three gold for the fairy. Hop on. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. You got three gold. Mm -hmm. You know what? You deserve a smooch too. They all deserve smooches. Why aren't you guys smooching these monsters? You're doing it for us! Yeah. These monsters are so smoochable. Is the flower sitting do anything different? Ah, I can chat. Okay. No, they, they aren't. Right. I mean, I only checked one. Now we're gonna have to make all the walk back. <laughs> Actually, I'll just take the ferry and Snowden back to Hotland. Yeah. Right. 
I'll be skipping over Waterfall. I just kind of wanted to have, like, one last time to appreciate it. Just nice little room. Oh, wait. Where is that room? No, I'll leave it at the... Ah! <laughs> what room are you talking about? The one with the statue. The, are you talking about the, the music one? box? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I wanted to point this out. In the ho in the hotel, do you remember it's got this like Metaton statue on it, yeah. and it's spraying the water because it's not the proper statue there. So what would have been the proper statue? The one in waterfall. Their house is nice, but we can't go into Sans's room because I screwed it up. I'm going to touch Ducky. all your stuff. <laughs> <gasps> Ducky! The dog! Whoa! Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Really? <laughs> Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait. We're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Oh my, there's so much news to report, I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? What is this, BuzzFeed? <laughs> you wanna be this one? Who, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You should get some. This will be our, our newspaper... Okay, this will be our newspaper's last issue. <laughs> Why don't we just put the big... The end on the front of the front and call the day. Oh, that's stupid. That would make sense, though. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. <laughs> oh, we're free? Finally. I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Here we go. Now we can play humans and monsters with real humans! You guys want to do voices? Oh! When humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world! <laughs> <laughs> the adventurous spirit. I like a kid again. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. <laughs> well, yeah, you have two of them. Quadruple! Ah, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. You get multiple pieces. Mm -mm -mm. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> Do you really need to? I can't imagine Ice Wolf speaking in Mr. T voice. <laughs> that would probably ruin it for me. <laughs> yeah. Ice Wolf needs to buy pants now. <laughs> Guess my new favorite dog's doggo again. <laughs> I wonder if the world has. If I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's Soon, most... I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. <laughs> hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. <laughs> Except we're all moving out of here. Huh. Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk beaches and punk cream. What? What's that? Good job. <laughs> Good job. He actually spoke. Wow. Wow. A brand new world. 
I might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing net rod. Somewhere, uh, you hear a whine, uh, whine. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay from uh, Aaron. <laughs> it finally won a game of poker against itself. Aw, uh, lesser dog. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> I guess so. And everybody's a loser. <laughs> I heard Dr. Alphys told the King and Queen the awful things she's done. The King felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the Queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Which Dude. reminds me. I have not been texting you, Tori. Hey, Frisk. It's Toriel. I just baked one mi Yeah, I think that's one million. One million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. Huh. Oh yeah, Sans is typing from now on. Yep. I did not say any of that. <laughs> Greetings, this is Sans. I, I love my brother very much. Oh, I'm being slandered! <laughs> this is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? <laughs> I also think Tori is very good at. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Toriel sent you a message titled Cat Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. There was no link or attachment to watch it. It wasn't the cat. <laughs> Yo! What's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found about out about someone way cooler. Yeah. Oh, virus. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. No, I wouldn't say that. You wanna be this one? Yes. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's so cute! Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Oh my god. Can this is our thing! Uh, uh, yeah, you can be him. Is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling algamets? Or... Yeah. No. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Hello. Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed in is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, and I felt my body being pulled into... something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it! Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Hi! Hi. Did you hear? The ruins have, fi have been opened up, and get this, they were opened from the inside. Apparently, the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Can you just take a minute to realize how well thought that out this game is? Oh, yeah. Bye the, now. How very little plot holes is his history for one per almost one person to make. <laughs> Yeah, he meticulously worked out how all these characters related to each other. He wanted to make this a world, and it is a world. It's a full-out world, you know? Oh, we can't forget our little snow piece. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to go to Dimension Box A. 
So we still got some of these dreams. I'm gonna put away the burnt pan. Uh, snowman piece. I wanna yeah, get that snowman piece. I'm gonna put away the dog residue because I don't need to take that with me out of here. I'm gonna get that pie. I'll put away the tough glove. Um, I wanna get that abandoned quiche. You know, to yeah. get a nice home. Put away the tutu. Let's check then the other box. We'll give it to someone who's ready for the responsibility. <laughs> Wait, what? We'll give it to someone who's ready for the responsibility. <laughs> True. We want to give it to a nice home. No response. Your phone might be out of batteries. <laughs> Tori, I'll send you a message. Forward this to, to someone you care, <laughs> care about, about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. <sighs> Chain messages. Oh, God. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? Snowpuff. Yes, we know it's all Snowpuff. This is a Snowpuff. But this, however, is a Snowpuff. God. Is there anything actually down here? <gasps> you are down here, buddy! Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. <sighs> I don't think there's anything over here. Except that door. Yeah, but I mean, I know how it opens, it's just we can't open it. Yeah. And I doubt we're gonna open I it. I doubt we're gonna open it. It's not mandatory, anyway. All there is is some annoying dog in there, you know? Oh, God. I mean, I love it. It's a good dog. Apparently, but, uh, hey, he's not a good dog. Apparently that dog can start all the internet wars ever. <laughs> really? Yeah. How? Because he sits on his computer. Oh. Huh. Well, that's a bad dog, then. So I don't know. Wait, who are you? I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing! Wait. <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> it's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. It's snow papyrus. It was way less buff than he is. <laughs> <laughs> True. He's being modest. <gasps> We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Aware dog, please pet dog. Yes. Oh, aware dog, please pet dog. Yay. The tile puzzle. Hey. And then this puzzle shaped in Papyrus's skull face. I Somewhat. <gasps> I guess we'll be able to go to the surface. There are woods we can live in, right? Yep. By the way, that's the uh, s what Snowdrake would turn into if you were mean and heckled him. Oh. Basically, you crush his hopes and dreams and he turns into that instead. So, that's just a different person in this one. all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Yeah. Please? <laughs> okay, there's nothing over here. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. It seems something tried eating it and just gave up. Mouse was able to eat the spaghetti and just gave up. With determination. <laughs> gave up with determination. I'm so determined to give up. <laughs> oh wait. I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers. Like 20 teen. Because you know, I'm 23 teen. I'm still younger. <laughs> yeah, you're 22 teen. You're just so immature for being 22 teen. Yeah, I, I know. know. It is the best freaking thing ever. Sam's about to join me at being 23 teen, and it's what? just so great. Oh, they said Sam's about to join you, but no, <laughs> Sam. Sam's is about to join us at 23 teen as well. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm. The barriers opened up. Hmm. Then, if it's not too much to ask. Could you take that piece of me to the surface? Of course. 
I would really appreciate it. Oh, you guys keep going. That's, you'll be back tracking soon, won't you? Yeah, but you need to see something. Okay. It's really important. Okay, what? I'll stop when we get there then. Are you fine with me skipping over other things that you don't want to see? Yeah. Alright. Oh, wait, no, come back in here. You need to see this one. Sam, okay. you get your butt back in here. You need to see this. Okay. It's the Snowdrake family. Yeah. Get your butt over here. The doctors, she brought my wife back from the dead. Oh, I see. My son, okay. he seems happy again. And well, Sam's I guess gone. we'll talk about this when she gets back. Ugh. All right, and you're back. Yeah. Can you scoot over a little? Sure. Thank you. I like my space. Of course you do. Alright, and we're back! Hey, uh... Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now, wait, you were doing this one. You can finish. No, you can keep going. Now my wife is complaining about 16 others keep other people. <laughs> Snow, you... Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. Aww. And that's cool! Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke! Laugh at it! No! No! You know what? No! This is a box. You can put an item inside or take it out. We know that. Fine, fine, screw you! Uh, a box lover doesn't love you! <gasps> All that's attached to the end is a note. Never mind, guys. <laughs> ones in front? Yeah! Yeah, they are gone. What's going on? Did I glitch the game somehow? It can't be this long. It can't. Okay, it was. Yeah, wow, that was a really long stretch of road. I was like, something's wrong here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. Oh, that's you? Yeah. I thought it was the same for a second. Mm -hmm. I like it. Guess like. <laughs> well, it's very emotional, so. <laughs> I kind of wish this one again. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of the year 2001. Yes. It's not like the cactus was waiting for you to come back or anything. Aww. Oh, assumed or cactus. Wait. Earlier, you identified this as bigger than a twin size bed. But now you realize it's actually one size bigger than a double. <laughs> it's a queen. Still just you, Frisk. So, F Frisk would be our actual silent protagonist. Yeah. Frisk never says anything. Um, just Except for, like, those few prompts, times, you know? <laughs> Except prompts, really. Wait, is there actually anything over here? Just the spider bake sale. It's so no, it's not the spider bake sale. I'm just... Yeah, there's the frog in. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The area's open, too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? I got to make music. 
Oh yeah, no, I love music Toby's put in this game. Oh god. I actually really am considering buying the soundtrack and I kind of regret not having gotten it. Even though I bought this game twice. You bought the game twice? Really? Yes, I bought it first actually as the DRM free one. Yeah. And then I bought the one on Steam just to kind of show my support. Right. Ribbit, ribbit. Finally, we can remove all these aging pink names. Everyone gave you a big favor today. Try to respect that. What? Remember? <laughs> pink names. Oh uh, yeah, that made it hard to be like, out of despair. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find that ro this root's fourth frog? Yes, I did. Ant-sized frog. It waves at you. Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now your journey's over. Maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right. Pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? The me we we are established like main character is about actually eight years old, right? I don't know how old this kid is, but we have a lot of money, and you know what? Why not give it to some spiders? Some spiders crawled on and gave you a jug. I'll take another donut. A donut. Ooh, we nice donut. No. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. Yay! Wait, Rocky! The exit's open? Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Can you? I don't think so. Let's... I can try! Okay, no. <laughs> Tried, but I just got and the dialogue. Failed. Whee! I freaking love this game. Excuse me, human. You seem like you've grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was for my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. That's the first frog that told us that we don't have to kill. Yay. Take one? We already took some, so. Yeah. You decided not to take some. Oh yeah, I should keep talking with Tori. Dear Frisk, I thought you might enjoy this. It's Nasky Art of a Snail. I'm actually gonna go over here so that we can just keep bouncing back and forth. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook some together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. I remember after finishing this game for the first time, really. That feeling, I couldn't play another game. <laughs> oh, wow. Immediately after, really, because it, it just couldn't compare. Really. Some of the triple A tiles could not compare at all. <laughs> Dear Frisk, if Sans and I get started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. She is divorced. <gasps> oh, yeah! Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. <laughs> Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Maybe. I mean, I'm not. not real. <laughs> Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. <laughs> However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. We're very healthy that way. You must be very healthy. How nice. <laughs> Oh, God. Dear Frisk, 
I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. Be good. Won't you, my child? Yep. We already have. <laughs> you did it, Sam. Yeah. You were good, and you made it all the way through. Yay. Yeah. Group high five. Sure. Yay, yeah. yeah. hey, fail. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all celebrate being losers. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> showed you how Toria was back here? Yep. At the end of your sparing her? Yeah. I'm heading all the way back to the beginning, where Kara is buried. Huh. Well, I can't talk to it. Aww. I thought I could talk to that dummy. Then again, it did fly away. Yeah. I guess it doesn't want to talk to us. That's true. We said horrible things to it that one time. We did not say anything to it. According to the bad dummy we did. Well, he's lying. Alright, you ready for this? Yep. That's real. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. It's the same exact thing she said. Uh... Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk, why didn't you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb up Mount Ebot are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? It's whatever we really want to know. Why did we play this game? That's the reason why Frisk came to the mountain. Some recommended to her. <laughs> I know why Kara climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Kara hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Kara. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Kara really wasn't the greatest person. While well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Karen and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was equally split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. 
but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> And that's all he'll say from now on. Aww. That line actually kind of gets me is he's telling you to leave because he thinks you'll have better things to do. He expects you to do great things out there in the world. And spending your la hit the last moments here with him, well, you should probably have something better to do in his opinion. Mm. And yeah. Oh, you want to say something? Oh, I want to say there's no saving him, really. Yeah. <laughs> <That> too. <laughs> he will turn back into a flower no matter what. I do want to say this, though. This is the bed of golden flowers who came in on. It's the one we landed in. It's the one Kara is buried under. Because attached to their body was the same seeds for those flowers. And so with that, we have then, basically, Asriel... Toriel, they both came back and visited Kara's grave. That's one of the last things they wanted to do after having met you. And my theory is, since you landed here on Kara's grave, and remember, Kara's grave is marked with the red soul, which you have. You two were one and the same in a bit. You both had very similar souls, and so Kara kind of latched onto you and went with you through your journey as the narrator. That's kind of nice. See, back when I first played the game, I kind of had his headcan that Frisk actually died from the fall. And that you were the spirit of that kid? Yes. I could see that. It's just, it seems a little too dark for how Undertale really is ending on. You know, like, a lot of the darker theories just don't make as much sense to me. Because it seems like this game where you're supposed to have faith that people can be better. You know? Right. And I so, told you that was one of my original theories. Really. Yeah. I just kind of thought that this was actually sort of like a walking corpse, really. <laughs> and that um, Chara came even and you have the body. Yeah, that is actually a common theory, but that's usually done for the genocide mode. Which is actually why, because a lot of people say, oh, you have to name your character Kara and, or Kara in genocide. It's why I really wanted to really name this character Kara in the pacifist mode. Because in the end of the day, the name actually doesn't matter. Kara is just short for character. The person who decides whether you're going to do a pacifist run or a genocide run is you. Mm. It's whatever you name the character. Right. The true name is really just there more as a joke. The name Kara is only because of the fact that it is short for character. So, that much weight and credence on a name doesn't really make sense. For at least for me. Mm. Got really silent. It did. Let's enjoy that. I'm gonna switch a frog. I'm gonna pick the pink one. I can't tell. No, he's the one who made our the monster's name that we could spare pink. Oh, right. Just we're gonna walk for a bit. I'm gonna see if I can get more of that pie. <laughs> what? I'm gonna see if I can get more of the pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. I was supposed to say, like, I don't remember there being a pie. Uh. Ah. Yeah. No, you're not in the way. There's no fighting or anything. Oh, no. Just, uh... 
So what are your thoughts about this all, Sam? It's a very emotional game, and sometimes that's good, sometimes that's, yeah, not what you're expecting. And it's kind of nice to see a game in a different way. That's actually one of the things I loved about Undertale, is that it's not afraid to basically admit it's a game. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't limit it. It lets the fact that it's a game be kind of like that thing that pushes you further, you know? Yeah. Because it knows it's interactive. And that's actually an interesting thing is, the game actually will never open up as a full screen game. Remember? Even yeah. though we could full screen it, it won't actually open up that way. It always opens up as a window. Hmm. It always wants to remind you, it's a game. You enjoying that pie? Yeah. Oh, not in here. I see it in your hand. You don't want me to do it in here, right? What? Oh, you can be fine with it. As long as you don't get crumbs everywhere. I won't. <sighs> Just gotta get to that river, woman, man. Uh. Now for the long soldier back. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, you remember that song that played at the end of Asriel's fight? Mm hmm That's my favorite song in this entire game, is his theme. Oh yeah, I love his theme too. Oh yeah, no, it's beautiful for me. I just love that song so much. I tried actually playing it, really. I know how to play, like, the memory part of it, at least, on the piano. Right. Because, like I said, the game has the low teeth thing, where all the songs are based on other songs in one way or another. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. They're all branching out, and there's, like, very few that are, like, they are connected to any other song. Which I thought was a really cool thing, which makes me wonder, like, is Toby telling the truth he doesn't know about musical theory? Because, you know, he's a little too good at it. <laughs> Oh no, he t I says on his Twitter he doesn't know anything about music theory. Uh. Hmm? Wait, what? He says on his Twitter he doesn't know anything about music theory. He just really broke what sounded good, really. <laughs> was that like a serious tweet or was that like more of like the. He was, actually, he was answering questions. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the dog. doggy. Yay, doggy. Yeah, What's also nice is that songs will blend into themselves so well, which is hard to do. Oh yeah. Because this one's been playing for like hours for us at least. Yeah. We couldn't tell where we began or where it ended. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the tunnel. Oh, you're right. Yeah. No wait, I don't need the tunnel. Oh right, you don't. Tripping me up at the last moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rosie, are you sure you're on our side? Were you really a genocide player all along? You know, I, I, want, I want the dog. I want a dog. I want a dog! Oh, you don't get a dog. Dog. Alan. Okay, I'm gonna do it three more times. <laughs> One. Two. Oh, you disappoint me. Fa -la 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 -la. <laughs> Fine, I'll have one last disappointing trip with you. Hotlands! I liked you so much, River Woman, but you couldn't do me this one last favor of being a dog. Oh. I wonder why is that now? What? I wonder why is that now? We are aware of the man who came from another world. So, well, Sam? this is the end. It's the end of our journey. <sighs> and yeah. we get all our friends. Do you want to say one last goodbye to anyone? Thank you, everyone. Out there who watched us. We love Back you to guys. The characters. Oh, well, that was a, no, that was a great one. Thank yeah. You, that, that's a good idea. So, yeah, I'm really glad if anyone really watched this all the way through. Thanks. Oh, really? That was amazing, really. Yeah. If was definitely a journey, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any time playing Undertale is definitely a journey. 
That's true. Oh, yeah. When I found out you hadn't played this yet, I knew we had to do this, you know? And it's this... so rare to get a, rea- a fresh reaction like that. Yeah. Well, because, oh, yeah. as I've been told multiple times, w- play the game before you watch it. And I refrained myself from watching anyone play it. And I'm glad I did. I really am glad I did. because and it... now you can go on binges and we won't see you for weeks on end. Oh no, I'm still watching my anime. I'm still binging on that. Oh. No, I mean like you can binge now on Undertale. Binging? Because there's a I'm gonna... lot of players. Yeah, I'm probably going to watch oh, Jacksepticeye yeah. and then... I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't watch either. I, I refrained. I watched a, a lot of the Steam Train up to a certain point. Yeah. And then it's I'm just one. like, and nope. And I'm like, they're doing a passage run. I gotta stay. Mm-hmm. Right. So, okay. Oh, yeah. I've seen the Steam Train one, and I've seen uh, the one on Commander Holly's channel. Where, I mean, that means why I saw a Ross a lot. And I think, like, you were suggesting Ross is the name of the character. Yeah, and I was thinking yeah. of House like, no. Owner. And I was like, no, 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 no. Because the thing is, I was thinking of Ross, and I knew mm. you had done two different apparently. playthroughs of it. Of course, it's a great game, and I understand it. I found out I have a lot of in common when it comes to interest in games with him. Really? Like he said, "Oh yeah, I dumped 56 hours in Stardew Valley." I'm like, "I've dumped 56 hours in Stardew Valley." <laughs> no. Well. <laughs> oh. There's one last door. That is the final door. And we're about to go with our friends to our world. Don't worry, they'll come with you. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Friends will follow you out of the underground. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh my. Isn't this beautiful? Everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Shans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I... I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new world. It's a future. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to humans? Will you be the ambassador? Yes. Yay! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Oh. Short shortcut. <laughs> Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, I'm dying! Wait up! Oops. Make sure you click very slowly, so because uh, there's something important about to happen. Should I do something? <laughs> well, I go. <laughs> so here is an important choice for you. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. This actually does change the ending. For oh you. God, Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Do you want to stay with Toriel, or do you have places you have to go? What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. If it is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. He, <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, 
I will do my best to take care of you as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. So you take her hand, and you walk towards your new future, and your new life. Yep. Lord, you scared me. Oh, yeah, God. just a good clap. But yeah, here's the cast of Undertale. I never had a game deserve a standing ovation really before. Really. You know what? Yep, there we go. Frog it, professional frogs. Win some braver every day. These are the yellow texts because we properly spared them. Ah. Mold small backup dancer. Looks the reformed bully. Vegetoy. Popular We're nutritionist. Actually the yellow ending. <laughs> Migos casually enjoys life. Naps the book. Spooky so DJ. Aww. Those are all the ruins. There's Papyrus, created by both Toby and Timmy. And Sans, made by Toby. By the way, Papyrus' dream was to drive out here, remember? Oh. Jay and Wendell, too. <laughs> He's living his dream. Snow Drake. Yes! Semi-successful comedian. Ice Cap, fashion designer. Griff Trot. Christmas, Christmas display. Tree. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. Aww. Dogami and Dogarisa. I don't Finally, know. number one nose nuzzle champions, and not champions. Aww. Lesser dog and greater dog. Found a loving owner and excited by life's changes. <laughs> Here we go, Alfie's and Undyne. Oh, Onion Sands in the ocean. Onion Sands. And Toby and Lesser Dog are having fun. <gasps> One smooch for Alfie's. Oh, it killed her. Yeah. The passive sending is over. Oh god. She's got to break the wall. Aaron, drawn by Timmy reluctantly. <laughs> Paranormal investigator, Mo Big, idyllic life on the beach. Washua and Timmy, legendary janitor. Timmy! Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! Mad dummy. Calm down just a bit. Shiren, oh wow, that is a whole quad. Yes! <laughs> oh look! You have a... Uh... Burger Pants in the background. <gasps> Burger Pants! And there you have Shiren and Nasty Look doing the DJ. Vulcan to Vulcan their and Sudapang. Yes! Encouraging space heater. Finally confesses what I don't! Hi, Rope. And Muppet. Candles, Candles the, the world's, world's largest birthday birth. cake. Spider success with a new bakery. The Royal Guards! Use your imagination. <laughs> Final Frog and Winsome, giving life its own meaning. The long battle finally ending. Astigmatism, a domineering glasses seller. <laughs> Magic and Night Night. Street Magician, and taking a well deserved nap. The Amalgamates. Living with their families. Asgore the king will trim a hedge in the shape of his smile. He's trimming a hedge in the shape of Papyrus' smile. Mm -hmm. And then you have Monster Kid going off to the new school. Where Toriel is teaching! Yep! Oh. Oh, we're gonna have fun with this. Oh, yeah. The end. Mark. Hey! <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Here we go. Pick up that cave work. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? Yes. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all this for good. You're in control. Dodge those credits. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please- Oh, I have infinite health. <laughs>
Uh, you get, try and dodge this maze. You can, though. <laughs> I mean, you can't get the special ending now, but you're still able to get a good ending. Toby's in one of his credits, too. <laughs> he is? Yeah. I didn't know Toby was one of the credits. It's yeah. cool. He thanks himself. I get that, really. Oh, that's nice. He should. Well done, B. Well... <laughs> I believed in B all along. <laughs> I don't know if Toby is like that. I, don't, I haven't seen that many of his tweets, but he seems like a nice person from what I have seen. Of course. Oh, he just he missed it too. He just slipped past it, really. Oh, he was there? Yeah. I didn't know he was in that chain. I did see an awesome comic book artist, like, at the very beginning, GGDG. Yeah? She's awesome. She makes cute requests. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's the one who drew Method. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know she won that. I didn't know that GGDG was in charge of making Muffet. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. It was either her or a woman who made Ava's Demons, really. No, if it's demons, would be something different if that's Muffet. Right. GGDG, uh, GGDG did a couple of, like, Persona 4 comics as well as, uh, made Cucumber Quest, though I think she has some other things. Right. It was either her or my if it was demons who made Muffet, really. If you're talking about that Avis thing, I think that's somebody else. Uh -huh. Yeah. How long does this go on? It's a full, like, two and a half minute song. Yeah. It's called One Last Goodbye. Do, 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 so yeah, there's all your touch credits. Wow, somebody was just named Evan. And Peter. There's a lot of single names. And here... Thanks to friends and family for supporting us. And Undertale team. Thanks... And the Undertale team thanks you, player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you... All this would not would be impossible. Good night. Here is the best ending. Mhm. Mm Cause the song that plays here is "Good Night." Look at the door real quick. Oh, he missed it. Never mind. What? <laughs> Nothing. I thought it was a, it was a glitch. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the end. Yeah. Can I get a clap, please? <laughs> sure. Oh my god! I don't feel like an idiot. Oh, <sighs> the song I'm playing at the end. Memory. I know. I love this part. Take this. Yep. Because we're just gonna have a nice little chat. <sighs> Now, where's the, where's the annoying dog? <laughs> Don't spoil anything, Rosie. Oh, There's you... still chances for spoilers, and you're doing it. It's the end, Alan! <laughs> <laughs> it's the end! I'm a purist! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Toby comes out to wish you one last little thank you. Oh, yeah. The Toby, the only dog is based off Toby. I know. Mm -hmm. He told me. Yeah, because Timmy's the cat and Toby's the dog in this. There are a few who ship them, too. <laughs> they do really well together. I just don't know what they would be like and realistically with like their actual personalities. Yeah. It's like I said, I don't know them. So I guess I wouldn't feel comfortable shipping them. Right. The characters, though, of course I will ship them because I've actually found out some hilarious things about this endgame. What? Because Toby is an item at one point. Somebody hacked the game as to where they could take Toby and take him to the Tem shop, which is the only place you can sell things. Mm -hmm. You want to know how much Timmy is willing to pay to buy Toby? What? What? All the money. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> oh. And so that's why I would ship the characters, at least. <laughs> that's so cool. Not the real people, but the characters, at least, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. If she's willing to pay that much for him, it's great. It's just so nice to kind of like hear this at the very end. It is. But yeah, that's it. That's Undertale. Aww, that Leave was nice. It. <laughs> but there's one last thing I want to show you. Mm -hmm. Let me get this oh, out of my way. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure this isn't going to be in the shot. Uh -huh. 
that's it. Oh, there's probably gonna be... No, wait, there's the notes over there, so I'm good there. So, oh, that's a good Toby. You designed a good game. That's a good Toby. You get a belly wop. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Toby. Uh, but yeah. Game of the year. Well, I mean, it did win that uh, game of, like, best game of all time or something like that, like, from Game Facts. Wow. It was a really good one. It won out against, uh, what is that called? Mario. Uh, no, it won out against Ocarina of Time. Wow. wow. It came down to, like, those two. And to be honest, I actually viewed it more as, like, what did both represent? Are we going to say that the best game ever is going to be a game that's just been kind of, like, lorded as a good game and we haven't really moved past it for the past 15 years? Or will we give the title to a new game that has, like, done things creatively? Right. I'm not saying Ocarina of Time's bad. In fact, I do say it's deserving of its praise. It's just, do we keep praising the old... Or will well, we eventually like in, praise the new? Keep ignoring the new, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, I will admit, I actually voted on that, and I voted for Undertale. Mm -hmm. Though there were times where I was, pl I would have voted for another game, because some other ones I felt were more deserving. I love Undertale, but yeah, I will say it's got its own flaws at times, too. Right. That's, that's one thing, yeah, definitely, really. But the fact that it has done so many good things, and really is that special and different, has made it one of my favorite games. The fact that it took this design at all, really, was made, I mean, a very favorable, really. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to show Sam? Something? Yes, yes. I want to give Sam one pat. Good Sam. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to close this. One last thank you to you, Toby. You did a great job. Thank you. Great game, man. Thank you, the GG. Undertale team. You did great. Yep, this GG. was amazing. Is it going to do it? Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Whoa. Darn stupid thing. Come on, I'm just gonna wait for it to go away. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi. It seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Mm hmm. Monsters have returned to the surface. Yep. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing, one last threat, one being with the power to erase everything, everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right, I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alpheus, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power? I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything, I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But... If I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's it. That's all. See you later, Kara.
I just want to go through this one last time before we close it. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. just absolute silence right now. Mm. Actually, there is something playing in the background. What? Listen carefully. What's that? To remind you at the end of the day, this is a game. Mm. What's that sound, man? It's a song. It's the main theme? No. I actually don't know this one. I'm trying to remember myself. I don't remember the exact song. If I were to take a guess, it's a very mm. distorted version of your best friend. It's like 800 times delayed. Right. Whatever this one was. But yeah. Well. Here is the end of the game. What would you do? Forever preserved. What would you do, Sam? We have, I would keep it like this. We have three choices. We can either continue, which starts us right before we see the ending give a true reset where we start all over again or the thing that the game asks us to do like, like just leave them to close it yep and i'm okay with that so i want to say this to any viewers who are going to probably demand that sam join us in a genocide playthrough no it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen with her most i likely. would mm -hmm. oh dear god i would would be broken mm-hmm I'm not gonna. Let, I'm not gonna force it, and I'm not gonna even try. You know, I don't want you to do it if you don't want to. No, I. When I did the first run through of Undertale and I killed Toriel, it broke me, mm -hmm. and I could not continually kill every character that I met. And I'm so happy that everyone got a happy ending, and I want to keep it like that. I don't want to take that away. And we may not be able to be a part of their future, but the thing is, at least we were able to get them there. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, no, the best choices aren't always the fun, most fun. <laughs> yeah. All we can do is think about where they're going to end up and hope that they have fun there. And hope there's a two, if not. I don't know if I want a sequel for this yeah, game. Yeah, I don't That's really want really. a sequel. I would love to I'm, see more games by Toby. But I don't know if this game should get a sequel, in my opinion. I'm honestly torn. Because <laughs> I feel like it would defeat the purpose of the game to have mm -hmm. a sequel. Right. You know? Like, if you're going to follow them, where are you going to go? Are you going to go into the past, where we can't change anything? Or are you going to go into the future, and that means then they're going to face strife on the surface somehow? Yeah, which wouldn't right. be fun. And then how are you going to explain the mechanics? Because the thing is, the way Undertale works is they can explain all the mechanics in it. Even the ability to reset, our ability to reset is only able to be basically like a Schrodinger's box. It can only be when we're in the underground. Right. When Frisk is trapped in the underground, it's the only time we can play. Right. So if we were to reset, they get sent back there. 
because that's the only time we can deal with them. It's the only time we can interact with this entire world is when that kid is stuck there. And we did get the best ending, too. And wasn't our goal the entire time to free that kid from the underground no matter what? Right. Even in a neutral end, we wanted them out of there. Mm-hmm. We wanted them to be able to be free. Everyone's happy. If we really cared about Frisk, we wouldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. I would let Frisk be happy and everyone else as well. The best choice is to do nothing at all. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. We've actually recorded this episode for three hours. I'm just going to say that out of here. Probably going to edit this down. It's probably Ooh. still going to be like a movie, but hey, it'll be fun. So, with that, I want you guys to all have fun, go out there, live your lives, but understand, this is the end of Undertale for us. Bye! See ya!